How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this one we're going to talk about Facebook page like campaigns and how you can get more likes to your Facebook page. If you watched the live video that I did with Dino Watt just a couple days ago, you'll have seen me talk about this and I said I was going to release a tutorial on how you could do it yourself. This is that tutorial. If you're finding this because you just found me on YouTube somehow by searching how to do a Facebook page likes campaign, this is the right video for you as well. It should be a fairly simple, straightforward one and I'm super excited to show it to you. So let's hop into my computer and I'll cover the different steps that we need to go through. Okay, so here we are in my computer. We're gonna make a Facebook page likes campaign. This is the back end at business.facebook.com forward slash ads manager. If you don't know how to get here, I'll link a video down below that teaches you how to create your own business and ads manager within Facebook so that you can run these types of ads. But once you come here, you're gonna to come to engagement and select page likes. So you can do post engagement page likes or event responses under this engagement umbrella. And what we wanna do is page likes. So we're gonna come here to page likes and then do demo. And you're always gonna to wanna to do campaign budget optimization and then just go ahead and put five to ten dollars uh, for your daily budget depending on how many people you want liking your page. Uh, then you're going to come here and just make sure you put in people living in this location and then put in the address of the place that you're, let's see where we're at now. Oops. Um, and then go ahead and put in the, the address where you're, you're practicing or where your business is and you're going to if you're in a rural area, it might go really far, like 10 to 15 miles, but if you're not, then you do something like seven. You can change the age and the gender if you'd like. It depends on what you know about your area. Use your gut feeling about what you know in your area. Don't try to target too closely, but if you think that women are going to like this more or men are going to like this more, depending on your business, then you would just target those people but don't try to constrict it too much because there's already a really limited amount of people. As you can see, it's estimating 66,000 people, which is not a lot for Facebook. And if you constrict that even more, Facebook is gonna have almost nobody to show it to, and it's gonna charge you a lot more for your ads. Also, what we see here is on connections, it's gonna have excluded connections, exclude people who like Keaton Walker. So if your page is selected up here, it's gonna say exclude people who like this page. And that's a good thing because you don't want the ad being shown to people that already like your page so that they can like it again. It doesn't make sense. So just leave that there. You're going to leave automatic placements. It's actually only one placement for this type of ad, Facebook newsfeed. So either one, it doesn't really matter, but just leave automatic placements on. And then you'll come in here and you're going to switch up the creative. So let's uh, pick an image that we can use here. Uh, let's use this one. And let's make sure, let's edit it, kind of crop, do a square, make sure it looks good, click save. Uh, that looks good. And, and then what we're going to do here, this has like the auto-populated uh, description of my Facebook page. So right now it says, hi, I'm Keen. I own a company called orthopatients.com that helps orthodontists to take the guesswork out of marketing their practice. And then people can just like my page right there and it gives me this Keen Walker headline right here. Honestly, this isn't too bad. But what I might do here is just say, hey, uh, my name's Keaton. Make sure to like my page for exclusive offers, advice, and content. Hope to see you on the other side. And you know, you don't necessarily have to go asking for the page like here. You can just do something more generic like I had there before. But whatever you think is going to resonate best with your area, uh, the people following your page. and. And then uh, make sure that you're trading, you're making it clear what kind of value you're going to provide to them, whether that's in your picture, or the video that you put up, or in the primary text here. Uh, so we're done with that. And, and then all you'd have to do is click confirm. It's really as easy as that. And Facebook will review it and then publish your ad for you. And then I'll start showing people within a couple of hours. Thanks so much for stopping by the channel, checking out this video. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.